The number of bones really doesn't matter because the bone as a, as a material has its own inherent value, so its content is emotional. It causes an emotional response. One of the little pieces in this show uh, is a tiny child saint. I think he's probably only got about six bones to make up the whole child riding a boar. He's still a potent little fellow for the simple and small number of bones that he's got. Possibly in a way more powerful and a bit more atmospheric than something say one of the other pieces, like a large woven bunny. Itself as a structure is a very delicate and movable thing. I can curve the weaving woven bones over, over the contours of the horse's head and body over the, the arms of the little children and the, the bunnies. It's a symbolic language. Um, it's a body language. Everything that we've got on the inside that makes us strong and able to stand up is now on the outside and it's um, not defensive, but it's very protective. It is like an armour. There's a sculpture that I've brought with me for this exhibition, it's called Segni II. It's a sculpture that's got its arms up in the air and it's like it's fleeing. There's an urgency to its body language, it's definitely moving forward and away. Connected by its hands, is a skeleton that runs all the way down its back. And like a shadow, it is connected to the body of the sculpture, but it's not connected at the feet, where a shadow is normally seen. It's about carrying one's burdens and, and how they propel us through life and how you just have to carry them with you. Mm -hmm.